All right, so in this video, let's understand what is VM or virtual machine and virtualization. And let's start with a very simple use case, why we need a virtual machine at all. Suppose you have a computer and at the base, you have a hardware things like CPU, RAM, hard disk. And on the top of that, you install an operating system like Windows, and then you install your apps and software. Now, imagine a developers create an application or a software that needs to be run on both operating system, Windows and Linux. Your computer already has Windows, right? But how you will test it on Linux? Okay, that is a valid requirement or a use case. Or maybe you need a Linux operating system for uh, learning purpose or practice something or testing something, right? Do you need to buy a whole new machine or a computer for this? The answer is no. And thanks to virtualization. So let's understand what is virtualization. So virtualization is the concept or a technology that allows one physical computer to act like many separate computers. Okay. It lets you create multiple isolated environments called virtual machines and on the same hardware. So let's see how virtualization works. You already have a physical machine with Windows installed. On the top of it, you install virtualization. So it is like a software or a tool you installed on a primary operating system. And with this virtualization tool, you can create multiple virtual machine. And on that, you can install an another operating system and you can use it very easily. So this is a case where you already have Windows operating system, but you can use the virtualization in different other combination as well. So for example, if you already have Mac OS operating system and you want to run the Windows or Linux on top of it, you can still use virtualization and so on. Now the question is how to set up the virtualization. The answer is hypervisor. So it is a software that creates and run virtual machine. So hypervisor is a actual technical term. Okay. And basically we can also say hypervisor helps to achieve virtualization. So suppose you have a physical machine with windows installed and on the top of it, you install virtualization software called hypervisor. Using this, you can create different virtual machine and install other operating system inside them like Linux, windows and Mac OS, etc. And one example of hypervisor is Oracle virtual box, which is free and open source to use. And with the help of that, you can install and use different operating system, including the Linux. Now let's see how hypervisor work behind the scene to create the virtual machine. Okay. Let's say your computer has 8 GB of RAM and 100 GB of storage. Okay. Hypervisor takes a portion of these resource like uh, 2 GB of RAM and 10 GB of storage and create a virtual machine. Okay. Uh, you can also create uh, another virtual machine and assign uh, 2 GB of RAM and 10 GB of hard disk. And similarly, you can create multiple virtual machines like this. To the VM, it looks like it is dedicated hardware, but actually it is uh, shared from the uh, original or the main hardware. Okay. And you can't exceed, you know, the main resources. For example, you can't create uh, N number of virtual machines. So it should be uh, under the 8 GB RAM total. Now let's see the benefits of VM. Actually, we have understood somehow that we don't need the new resources or new uh, computer or new uh, servers to use a different operating system. Okay. No risk of any issues with your primary operating system. Okay. So interesting thing is whenever you create the virtual machine, it really runs in an uh, isolated environment. So for example, Within this virtual machine, if any application crash or something happen, it will not impact the actual uh, operating system or any other virtual machine. So that is the uh, another benefit. So testing of any application on different operating system, you can uh, use the virtualization. Now let's talk about the types of hypervisor. So there are two types, type one, type two. Okay, easy to remember, but there is uh, another terms also. For type one, we also call it as uh, bare metal hypervisor. For type two, it is the hosted hypervisor. Now let's understand uh, the difference. For the type two, which is the hosted one, we have just seen an example that is the Oracle virtual box. So the type two or the hosted hypervisor you install on a primary operating system. For example, uh, in this case, you already has 
uh, the Windows operating system and on the top of that you are setting up a virtualization tool but when we talk about the type 1 or bare metal hypervisor it install or set up directly on the hardware or machine okay so few examples are vmware vsphere or citrix zen server and this type of uh, bare metal hypervisor used by cloud providers and enterprise servers in last why do companies use virtualization and here are some uh, use case and uh, example and uh, this is all about the vms and virtualization so thanks for watching